Storms. You should get out of here. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. to do something about it first. Do something about it first.
wish life was back to simple eggs and bacon. The monsters are actually the people here. At least nobody's going to starve in here. ...for Acadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast system is now in a... Go get him, Julia. to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Hello. So glad everybody is safe here. But I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Sorry. No, It's no. good to have Frank on our team. Sorry. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so... I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are, you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him! Yeah. You saw... You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... He killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? It doesn't matter. She deserves her peace now. Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Well, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. 
And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe... And David, hold up somebody safe. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry, and I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. Then look at me, trying to keep my family together. Damn. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever, and I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. You know, after he hit Chloe. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace.